Good morning, so it is 10, Kaya's back there. We are out running some errands this morning. It's been a very eventful weekend. We had friends in town on Saturday. They were John's friends from where he used to live and that was a lot of fun. We spent the day at the zoo, it was gorgeous out. And then Saturday night, Kaya injured her, what I think is her elbow. I could be wrong, we don't know yet. It could be her forearm. As you guys know, literally two years ago, Two years ago, almost to the day, yeah, I look back on my Instagram and it was two years ago, two years and two days ago when it actually happened on Saturday night. She broke her left elbow um, while playing with the dog and Wyatt. And Wyatt, six months prior to that, broke his right elbow. So we're very familiar with the process of broken bones, unfortunately. I'm hoping for some answers. I'm hoping that if it is broken, they can just cast it up because Kaya just feels so much more comfortable in a full cast. I don't know what the issue is, but uh, we're gonna go get that figured out. But for right now, we're running a few errands until the appointment because another thing that happened over the weekend is I got invited out to LA uh, with Salt Cup for their art installation. So I will be leaving Thursday and coming back really, really early Sunday. Um, but I'm really excited. It'll be a fun time, a great opportunity for me. I'm excited to meet the Salt Cup team. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to go to California. You guys know it's been a while since I've been there. I, you know, you guys have been asking me to come out there, uh, but I've never had, I haven't had a reason in the last couple of years. So I'm excited to be able to do that. Yeah, that trip kind of came out of nowhere, like suddenly this weekend as well, while this was going on. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but in a really good way, you guys know. I made the you know resolution not last year but the year before that to start doing stuff that scared me and to say yes more so traveling by myself to meet a bunch of women I've never met before in real life to do something I've never done before that scares the crap out of me so I'm really excited to say yes to this opportunity and do that and I'll, of course you know promote reusable cups and all of that. This is what Kaya's looking like right now. She's got her brother's coat on because we couldn't find hers. We're reorganizing her and Ava's room right now. So their stuff is just everywhere. I got, our, our house looks like it threw up on itself. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys. Like, I don't think you guys will have ever seen our house as messy as it is right now, just because this weekend was so crazy. And the funny thing is, is that it was like pristine, clean condition for our guests on Saturday. And from Saturday to now Monday, it is the complete opposite, isn't it, Kaya? It looks terrible. But yeah, she's got a pretty hearty splint on. Like, it's like a solid splint up to her elbow and then like a bandage wrap around it and then a sling. So anyways, thank you Lily Jade for sending us this backpack. It is coming in so handy for our day trip today. I love it. Kai over here is trying to snag it. She thinks it's her perfect size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. So like I said guys, it looks like our house threw up on itself. She picked out purple. She likes it. She's comfortable. That's all I care about is that she's comfortable. Um, last time she had pink. This time she gets purple. Good news is she gets it off in two weeks if everything's okay. So, crossing fingers, right? Yeah? So slowly but surely, I'm getting this room cleared out. It is now Monday. I'm still cleaning. John's helping me hang a few things in my office. In between business calls. Where'd he go? Hello? He legit was just down here. Where did he go? Are you, if you jump out and scare me. Oh my gosh. John, Jonathan. Oh my God. Jo Nuna, where is he? Is he in the bathroom? <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you were hiding and you were gonna jump out and scare me. John? Okay, you can't hide from me. Your dog is like, she knows. I'm opening the door. Go, Nuna, check it out. Is he in there? <laughs> John's going to the bathroom. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump out and scare me. We have this thing where he'll hide or I'll hide and we'll scare each other. I don't know why we do it. We should probably stop because both of us are getting old and <laughs> we're going to like die of heart attacks. Couple scares each other to death. <laughs> Cleaning up the office, just kind of getting some stuff like finished and organized. This is the problem is I start like organizing and going through and stuff in my office and I get distracted by old PR packages I find. This was I think a Garnier PR package and they sent like a few like, uh, what do you call them? Hair extensions? I've never worn hair extensions ever in my life. 
I don't think I could do it. They're really heavy and there's only four of them in and I can feel them like pulling at my roots. My hair is real gross right now, don't mind it. And then I'm just kind of trying to clean up the rest of my junk. I got lots of junk everywhere. Lots and lots, lots and lots of junk. Proud of myself, however, because I've gotten rid of so much like expired makeup, so many things that I've held on for, to for, I don't know what reason, maybe like a hoarding aspect. I don't think I'm a hoarder. You guys know I'm like quick to get rid of stuff, you know, or recycle stuff or sell stuff. I don't really hang on to stuff for sentimental reasons unless it's from you guys. I have a lot of stuff. Have I shown you guys the stuff that I've hung out on to? I have a box of letters from the first two years of when I did YouTube eight years ago. They were just like nice, kind letters. But these two things I hold very dear to my heart. Don't mind all that dust right there. This I got from a girl named Amy. When Kaya was born, she sent this for Wyatt. And I, oh my gosh, I love it. You pull the rock and it rumbles. Obviously, I don't have children any age to play with that, but I just keep that because it was like one of the nicest gifts that I'd ever gotten. And again, it was like eight years ago when I first started YouTube and I wasn't monetized or anything like that. I was just doing it as like a hobby to meet people and it was just so sweet of her. And then I have this from Nene. I call her Nene because that's what her screen name is. Um, but she sent me this Beauty and the Beast cup. As you guys know, Beauty and the Beast holds a special near and dear place in my heart. And I posted something about searching for this everywhere and she sent it to me because she's just amazing. And those boxes up there have a bunch of like keepsakes from you guys and like notes and sweet things like that. So yeah, those are the things I hang on to for sentimental and of course my kids little baby things. But for the most part, I don't really hang on to stuff. So you guys would be proud of me. I got rid of a ton of stuff and it just, Feels like a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders, you know? We are doing so well in getting rid of stuff, but look it, I have a floor again. It's somewhat clean in here again. Look how cute you are, Nuna. Oh, I need to dust underneath my ottoman. Washing our sheets, thank goodness, because I want to leave John with clean sheets before I leave, but I got so much laundry I gotta put away. <laughs> Why? The good news is that my Monstera over here has a new leaf unfurling. I'm really sad though, cause I think I might be gone when it finally completely unfurls. And then down here, I believe she's gonna have another stalk unfurl as well while I'm gone. This one's kind of weird though. She's just like, all right, I'm gonna go all the way up there now. <laughs> like it's right underneath here. Oh, I hope that's as high as she gets for a while because I don't really have another place for her in my house. Um, oh, and there's another one back here. She's like loving life lately. All right, I tackled a bunch of laundry. Still have a bunch of more laundry to do, but I'm so excited because I have fresh sheets. You guys know my favorite thing about laundry day is when I wash all my sheets and I have like fresh bedding. I love it. John just noticed that that plant was sitting there and it's been there for like a week and a half and he sleeps right here. <laughs> Now I'm gonna finish putting away some more laundry, or at least folding it for the kids to come up. I love having kids that are old enough to put away their own laundry. I mean, they don't put it away well, but I don't have to deal with it after it's out of my room. <laughs> so yeah. All right guys, so like I mentioned earlier in this video, I am leaving out of town. I'm leaving actually at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. Um, I have to be at the airport by like 6.40 or 6 o'clock or something like that. So I'm feeling a little bit guilty. Also because there's been so much going on in the house, Kaya's arm, everything like that. This little one back here has been a little bit neglected. Not in a bad way, but she definitely hasn't been getting, as you can see her tail's like going crazy just cause like, I'm paying attention to her. I'm on the floor with her, the camera's all on her. Anyways, she's been, She's been a little neglected because there's been a lot going on. But as I mentioned in, I think it was my last vlog or something like that, I asked if you guys wanted to see a doggy subscription meal plan box and you guys said yeah. So I'm super excited because not only is today's video being sponsored by Pet Plate, but they also sent Nuna a box of food and Nuna's like, I smell something, what is it? So this just arrived on our doorstep, super excited. Inside here, yes, Nuna, that is for you. <laughs> I'm usually shoo away from these boxes because usually it's our meal boxes, but no, this one's for you, Nuna. This one's for you, this one's all for you. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> Sorry, I do a lot of baby talk with my dog. You guys know that. Basically, it's a meal subscription, so you get it monthly. Oh my gosh, Nuna. So basically, it's a meal subscription. You can pick all different types of meats. They have lamb, they have turkey, they have chicken, they have beef. 
I got the bark and beef because you guys know Nuna is on a all beef diet. And you can pick all different types of plants too. You can do like a full meal or you can just do toppers. Are you sniffing it? Uh, you can do toppers just to put on top of your uh, dry food, which honestly, if you have a dog like mine who's a little bit sensitive to changes in food or food, dude, that smell is coming from the box, not me. If you have a dog that's a little bit sensitive, I would suggest maybe just like, you know, introducing the food slowly. That's what we usually do whenever we change Nuna's food. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. There's freezer packed. All this goes in the freezer. Nuna, what's in here? Well, it's not on my hand, it's in the box. It's in the box. What is it? What's in there? She's <laughs> Inside, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. So we have the, okay, Nuna. It's all made for dogs. It's all healthy. It says real fresh, healthy, human grade dog food, slow cooked and rigorously tested in the USA. Um, it's got the feeding guidelines, how much you should use. So it does keep in the freezer and then you just put it into the refrigerator and then it thaws that way. And then you just make sure to serve it within a week of being in the refrigerator. I did send a, quite a few of these. She's like, what is this? I'm gonna stick this one in the refrigerator to give to her and put the rest of them in their freezer But I thought we would pull them out and then treat her with one this evening since I'm leaving her Since I'm leaving and she's gonna be so sad this girl follows me around like all day long So I don't know what she's gonna do while I'm gone for these next couple of days, huh? But hopefully the food will be hopefully this yummy food. Yes, She's like, give me it now. Also included in your box, you get that envelope and it's got a bunch of stuff in here. It has all the things that their food is proven to help, which is improved digestion, healthier weight, more energy, allergy relief, shinier coat, mealtime excitement. Nuna's kind of a little bit like, eh, when it comes to her food that she has now. She'll eat it when she's hungry, but it's not something that she like runs towards. So this will be interesting to see if she gets more excited about eating with that. This is how to pet plate. So basically it says like kind of how to make the food which makes me happy that they sent this because I'm a little bit of a dummy <laughs> I'm not gonna lie even the simplest things sometimes I try to overcomplicate. so the fact that they have like okay this is how to store this is how to eat this is how to do this that is awesome so it's got a bunch of the directions then it's got how to kind of transition your dog into the food like I said earlier start off a little bit small with the regular food so you don't upset their tummy because you're changing their diet basically or if you're using it as a topper I don't think you have to worry about that I just feel so guilty leaving her because legit she's like my little shadow like if we wouldn't have already had the name nuna picked out we would have named her shadow knowing that she follows you around constantly not just you it's just me just me john says that when i'm gone she just kind of like lays in a corner lays in her bed so hopefully so hopefully that's not the case this time but yeah she's just a little scrub em off she's a little cutie I love you. <laughs> John's taking a quick break to put the light up for me. We finally kind of decided on one at Ikea. It's the cheapest light we could find. It was the cheapest light that we both were like, you know no, what, that's not, not gonna be nice. that's not terrible. Yesterday, remember how I showed you that alien branch? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? There is like a half an inch of growth overnight. Can you hand me that drill thing over there? Sure, babe. Well, don't worry, our floor is cheap. <laughs> Are you ready to eat dinner? <laughs> All right, so this, apparently I was supposed to put it in the refrigerator two to three days prior for it to thaw in the refrigerator, but I would like her to have this before I leave, and I leave tomorrow morning super early, so instead we're gonna thaw it in the microwave. All righty, let's try it. Yummy, yummy. Like I said, I would be nowhere if I didn't have these really good directions. Like, nowhere. I was seriously like, how am I gonna thaw this? <laughs> it tells you how. So that was very good, and I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Pet Plate, for making directions for people like me. Look at her. She's like, I want it. Do you want this? It smells good. Like, she's been smelling it since it hit the microwave. Do you? Do you want this? Yes? Do you? I don't think you want this. I'll just leave it up here. I don't think you want it. <laughs> do you want it? What are you gonna do for it? 
What are you going to do for it? Hmm? What are you going to do for it? Lay down. Roll over? She's like, okay. Sit. <laughs> stay. Hey, stay. Good girl. Stay. Okay. <laughs> I have the feeling she's going to eat the pet plate food and she's just not going to eat the rest of it. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? She's like, I'm not used to having actual human food. So we don't like feed her table scrap. For the most part, unless it's like cooked sweet potato or things like that, she doesn't get like cooked food much or ever really. You liking it? Can I have it? She's very well trained, so she won't bite me, but I don't suggest doing this. Look at her, she's like, um, can I have that back please? Can I? Do you want it back? <laughs> I don't suggest taking dog food away from your dog while she's eating, but we've trained Nuna since she was very young not to be nasty about her food, but look at her, she likes it. Is that yummy? Look at that, she almost, look at that. She just spit out her normal food because after she licked off the pet plate food. <laughs> Luna, what are you doing? Well, so I'd say that's pretty much a success. She is so happy right now. She's so happy. She doesn't usually eat the second I put down food either, so that's good. This dog, man. She's just not a food-oriented dog, so it's really cool to see her actually excited to eat food. So now I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator. It is good up to seven days in the refrigerator, and then it's good up to a year frozen in the freezer, which is awesome news. So if you wanted to just use this as like a dog topper, so if you wanted to still, you know, use your own food and then just have this as like a nice little balance on top, you can do that. There's all different types of subscriptions you can do. Um, you can skip a meal or pause it anytime. It really seriously works like a human meal subscription, but for dogs. So I think it's really neat. I like this a lot. Nuna's super happy right now. She usually doesn't eat in the middle of the kitchen. Are you happy? <laughs> um, she is just like loving life right now. Yeah, I'll leave all the details underneath this video. Thank you so much, Pet Play. Nuna is gonna be happy. I'm happy that she has this nice little treat to have while I'm gone for the next couple days to make her happier. I'm sad to leave her. Like, I, now that the kids are older and they understand that I come back, it's not as sad leaving them for a couple days. Nuna, I still don't think, understands that I'll always come back or, you know, that I'm planning on coming back, so it's always so sad to leave her. Like, it's always so sad. So I'm happy that she has some yummy food to distract her. Look at her, she's like, don't mind me. I'm just you eat all your food? Was it yummy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, well, I'd say that was a licked clean bowl. It's okay. <laughs> it's a good girl. You missed a few. Those are from her normal food. It looks like she ate that one little remnant on the ground. I bet it was because it was coated in the ground beef. Are you going to eat that? No, you're going to leave that because it doesn't have the goodness on it anymore? Yuck. I hate the smell of dog food. I don't know why. Just like hard dog food. The other dog food from Pet Plate. Nope, there's nothing in there. <laughs> she is so, I'm sorry, you can have more tomorrow. The Pet Plate food, actually, it's hilarious because when I was cooking it, I was like, ooh, this smells good. Like, it smelled, when I was thawing, it smelled like food. No, there's nothing in there anymore. It's all gone. Yeah, you can have more, you can have more tomorrow, okay? Yeah, you can have more tomorrow. She's like, my mommy. <laughs> I love it when she gets excited about stuff like that. Like, she's never been a food-oriented dog. You guys know that since we brought her home when she was a puppy. She's always loved affection and things like that, which made training her pretty simple because any praise she would just go crazy about. But it kind of makes me sad sometimes that she doesn't get excited like other dogs about food. So that was actually a lot of fun to feed her. <laughs> Yoga with Aubrey before the plane ride. So much taller than me, I always forget how much taller you are. So we are home, or I am home from yoga. 
Still got nothing packed. <laughs> well, that's a lie. I got my carry-on slash personal bag packed. Got my little buddy here. She's my best friend. <sighs> I'm home from yoga. I'm exhausted. Like, I was laying Corpus Pose. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> they took me to the mall when I got home real quick because um, I needed to get a new moisturizer. I needed a refill. I've been loving this belief moisturizer right here, but I had been out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be traveling. It's going to be dry on the airplane. I need to get something. So picked up some of that. Now I have my carry-on bag packed, but I still need to pack all my clothes, which I texted Amber, like one of the co-creators slash owners of Salt Cup. And I was like, hey, not to sound lame, but what are you wearing this weekend? <laughs> Never met this woman in my life. Never really had a serious conversation with her. Like, we only know each other via, like, Instagram. Like, I just exchanged phone numbers with her, I think, a couple days ago. And I legit was just like, hey, what are you wearing? Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to freaking wear. Um, I am checking a bag because I don't like to do the carry-on bag up top because I'm always that lame person who like is too short to get it up and even though I feel like I'm pretty strong upper body wise I got some pretty thick meaty shoulders um the angle or whatever is always wrong I can never get it up and for some reason nobody ever wants to help me they all just stare at me like why are you taking too long <laughs> like they never want to help me so um I am checking a bag just because it's simpler all around and I have a connecting flight so checking a bag is just so much easier when it comes to like that yeah I still need to pack that bag which is basically clothes and everything which is really important so I should probably get on that but I finished packing my carry-on which is in my Lily Jade backpack I used that one the other day loved it you guys saw that this thing is a beast I absolutely love her if she does well on the plane ride and everything. Oh my God, this is the best bag. I say that just because it's a little bit heavy with all my stuff in it, we will see, but if it works, oh my God, I will be suggesting this to everybody. You'll have to wait for the review, which won't take long because yeah, but it is amazing. Like I just, you'll have to see, but it's amazing. So I have all my like on the, on the airplane stuff packed. Just have to get the rest of the stuff packed. All right, I am officially packed. I tried as hard as I could to not overpack, so hopefully I'm okay. Um, yeah. I am loving this bag, it's amazing. Phoenix right now, I'm catching my connecting flight. It's gonna board in like 10 minutes, but I don't like to sit with everybody else, so I'm sitting over at an empty gate. Seriously guys, this bag is amazing. I'll have a full review, but. This trip so far has been amazing with it, not gonna lie. Um, I got off the phone with John, kids are doing fine, everybody's doing fine except for Nuna. She said that I'm not there, she's like in her kennel by herself, but John said that he gave her some of the new pet plate food and she got really excited about that, so that makes me feel a lot better about not being there. Um, and I told him to move her bed by his desk so that way she can lay with him, but... Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go here. Yeah, I will see you guys if you're coming later, and if you're not, I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.